Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another YouTube video. It's Bryson here with The Common Hype. We got Ben behind the camera, and as you guys can see, we're in the studio today starting off this video. We were able to stop into Scottsdale multiple times over the last week to check in on the updates of how the new store is going, so you guys are gonna be able to see a couple of those. Me and Drew took a couple field trips, so you already know you'll get a couple laughs out of it. As well as I came in and sold a bunch of my personals, you guys can see here we have a couple left over, but I ended up selling a bunch of personals in the middle of this video to Brandon, also to you guys on Instagram and stuff. So that was a pretty cool clip, pretty funny, because you know, me and Brandon, we get into it when it comes to the selling. We've done it before in the past. And then towards the end of the video, we have more unboxings and the most recent update of Scottsdale. The boys are actually there today. This weekend, we're not actually gonna be at our Scottsdale grand opening. Brandon and I will be in Boston for God's Soul on October 8th. So if you guys are in the Boston or surrounding area, make sure to pull up and come check us out. We're gonna be cashing out very heavy at the event. We're really excited for that video and for the weekend's videos. Ben's gonna be staying back with Drew and they're gonna be holding down Scottsdale. So I'm really excited to see what kind of footage they get. So look forward to some really good videos in the next couple weeks. We're gonna have a lot of content posted out for you guys. We're really excited for it, but I'm not gonna hold you guys much longer. We're gonna get you guys in the video right now. If you enjoy it, like this video, comment down below and subscribe to the channel. Turn those post notifications on and I hope you guys enjoy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, me and Brad decided to take a little field trip today. We're looking at some clothing racks and we're talking about the back wall. So we needed to measure a few things before we made a decision. Can't really rip anything without knowing how big or small it is. So we're gonna see what we can figure out here today and then uh, hopefully get the shelving figured out. Maybe some space for all the heat. Like we're gonna have the Louis Vuittons, off-whites and stuff like that. So we need a little bit of uh, storage space that's locked to make that happen. So see what we can figure out today. All right, listen, <laughs> we already had a bad start to the trip. The Dillard's we parked at that we get to doesn't open until 11 and the door is literally closed. Like there's a roll gate staring at us. So now we gotta go drive all the way back down and go through the freaking. Uh, it's hot out too and I have a crew neck on, Brad sweats on. It's a mess, it's a mess. But hey, it's our luck, man. Why can't we go in right there? All right, Let's, we'll see if we can get inside and get the measurements at this point. All right, we finally got here. We waited like 20 minutes, had to figure out the key situation, of course, after walking around for another 20 minutes to get in the building. We're finally in, but I'm gonna let Bryson do a little tour, show you the update. Uh, it's looking pretty good though. Don't show them too much, you gotta right. show them the rest. Alright, All right, so the last time we were here it looked like a show, um, because it was, but it's only been about a week since then, Drew? Yeah, I think so. Roughly. Uh, so we got the ceiling painted black, looks really good, it's like a nice clean matte black. We actually have some new lighting on the way, which is gonna be pretty cool. And then we are working on clothing racks, which is why we're here today, but they cleaned up the floor and then they started couple of the build outs as you guys can see on the wall. We ended up having to cover some of the wires that you guys saw in the last video about the store. So this is kind of the solution I guess they came up with. I'm not really sure where it's gonna go from here to be honest, but I'm just hoping it looks good. We're gonna be back tomorrow with Brandon. So I'm sure we'll film that and we're gonna figure out the shelving situation. But right now we're coming back here, to figure out how much space we have for clothing racks. So we found some that are kind of L-shaped. I'll put a picture on the screen and we want to do kind of the L-shape here in this corner if possible. But if not, we definitely do this wall's way bigger than we thought it was. Yeah. I don't think the indent on this I right side lost is lost my train of thought, but this we thought the wall was gonna be like nine feet. It's 15 feet. It's 179 inches. We said nine, nine. Yeah, we thought it was gonna be <laughs> that big. So we got an extra lot of space. Six feet. Yeah, just, just shy of four feet on this wall. That, that I, think that's, work. I think that's perfect. So we're probably gonna do that clothing rack, the L-shaped one in this corner. I think it'd be sick if this wall were black. Black on black and then just the, the clothes are floating. Yeah. Wow, which play? Because it's like better it. than white on white, and there's gonna be so much white already. Yeah. I think it'd be cool if the ceiling came down and then dropped back into a black. Yeah. yeah. The lighting's gonna be cool, but we're gonna wait for that to come in because we don't know if it's gonna work yet. So I don't want to get too excited about it, but yeah. Other than that, it looks like it's gonna be ready. Our guys are moving quick, so we're excited to see the progress in the next coming weeks. But this is where it's at right now, and hopefully we're opening in about a week from now. So I don't know. We'll kind of see where we're at. But this is a little update of the Scottsdale Mall. We also post on Instagram. Make sure you guys go show the post some love. And uh, we post a picture of it, so go check it out. We'll see you guys tomorrow when we come back. Day two <laughs> in a row, actually, of going to be at Scottsdale Mall. Came back again. Shelves are being put up today, so we just want to make sure the right measurements, everything looks good. We like the way it feels before it all goes up on the wall, and we don't have to try to take it down and redo it all. So we're just going to here make sure everything looks good. Everything's in sorts so that he can get the rest of the shelves up, and then we can uh, get the store open. So that's the goal. It's been for about the last three weeks, and we just keep getting pushed back and pushed back. So hopefully next week we'll be open, next Saturday. All right, so we're here in the store again. We have two shelves that they put up for us. One has the black brackets, as you guys can see. Under, it's a metal thick bracket, um, and it hooks out here, so the shelf's not actually um, drilled into anything. It's just sitting on top of the bracket, so that's in the black one. And then the white one, you can barely see. And this one allows us to achieve more of a floating look, an invisible floating shelf look. So I think we like the white more. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments, uh, but it just 
easier for it not to see. I feel like these are kind of distracting. I don't think it looks bad with some of the black accents in the store, the ceiling. The back wall is going to be black as well, so I think it could look good, but I think as far as the shelving, we just want to let the shoes speak. We'll also have build outs and stuff. What I'm thinking right now, Drew, is we didn't, uh, this doesn't allow any space for the mirrors. mirrors yeah. So we got to let them know that. But other than that, I think the white shelving um, looks the best. So I think that's what we're going to roll with. But we definitely need to make sure that the, the mirrors have a place to go in here. So we'll make sure to bring that up. But let me know what you guys think. We're rocking with the white. Black looks not bad. All right, listen. I walked up to Brandon this morning. Met each other in the kitchen at about 7 o'clock. I said, hey, man, we got a big cash out in the store today. He goes, like, who's coming in? I said, you're looking at him. I got some personals. I have a lot. A little too much right now. I'm actually buying a house right now. So got to get rid of some stuff. Hey. Congrats, man. Congrats. Thank you. That's huge. Bought a house before I did. You got a nicer car before I did. Quite frankly, I looks like you're the majority owner, huh? That's right, man. Told me earlier he wants just cash. He doesn't want any store credit. He goes, you want some store credit? <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to have to break the news to you. I don't want this. Not really? Even cash. Yeah, no. Or I'll just walk into the back, put them in the system myself, and if they sell, I'll get more. Sure. You're selling some crazy stuff, man. You didn't give me first dibs for the person on any of this. Free to go get at it right now. 120 bucks. It's like 125. Yeah, 125 works. Cool. Remember, any of these used items you guys see, they're gonna be on our Instagram store. No way. You're selling the Polaroids, huh? I don't understand why you're selling these. Um, the whole point of you getting them is because you had to have them because to fill the collection, right? But I'm never gonna wear them. Why? I can't. I can't just be collecting. No, I, I'm not gonna wear it. I'm not gonna keep it. And a lot of the shoes that I have are gifted to me, so I'm not gonna sell those pairs. So, so you really don't see yourself wearing these. Okay. Um, how much you want these? All right, listen. I'll pick 130. Um, how about just 120? How about 125? Sure. Makes this even 250. All right, it's kind of fun on this side, huh? I know you. Wait, want how much did they go for? They're like 160. Oh no, dude. Yeah. I paid way too much. No, no, no. We gotta redo that. No, we're not gonna make any money. That's fine. We'll break even. I mean, let's just keep going. You're really never gonna wear these, that's for sure. Yeah, I'm not gonna wear those. These are like 130 right now, bro. Look, man, it, it's looking like I'm just gonna sell these and short myself, because I'm really not trying to get bent over by you today. Not even. Um, you haven't bent me over yet, but I feel like you're gonna bend me over in a minute. That's I paid actually... really high on those Polaroids. Okay, okay, okay. Hear me out, hear me out. 120 on these. They're going for 140. Thunder market. Yeah. That's cool. That's great. Then that makes you feel better about the four words. Now we're back on track. Alrighty, I'm All right. All right. Back up. What are you planning on doing with the cash, man? Uh, buy a couch. <laughs> Maybe a washer. Is this what it's like to grow up, guys? Maybe, Maybe a nice refrigerator. Um, I'm only 21. I've never ran into these real life problems before. Starfish. Um, I mean, these have seen better days. Clean shoe. Yeah, you kept them in okay condition. How much did you want on them? They're going for 200. Yeah, so I'd give you 100 bucks. Are you out of your mind? Put them back for in the 150. Box. Just put them back in the box. Shit's I mean, going on the IG story. Bryce and Ayamo, hit me up, boys. Hit me up. I don't even want to hear it on these, then. Damn, selling militaries, huh? Are you legit checking my <laughs> shoe right now? Yeah, this feels a little funky, huh? You're out of your mind, bro. This guy like, know who I am? Uh, how much did you want on these? The absolute most you'll get. Absolute most I'd give you on these would be... Say something stupid, I dare you. I'll <laughs> jump over this counter. I mean, I have to... I, I'd be at 260. <laughs> okay. So you're just... Bro. I understand they're going for, I understand what, they're, what you want, but understand that they're used and I have to sell them as used. So you know what, man? Some of this stuff I don't care about, but some of it I do. So the stuff I do care about, I'm just gonna go on our Instagram story and post it myself. I wanted him to get dips, cause he always did me. You're really not gonna wear those again. I never wore them, bro. Half of the I buy, I'm like, I need it, bro. And then I never wear it. Cause I wear these slides every day. You're gonna wear these all winter though, bro. You tell me you're not gonna wear those with pants all the time. Probably not, bro. I, I think you should keep these. I'm not, we're not here to talk about what I should keep, bro. You should be encouraging me to sell it because I don't need this much shit. Well, on a lot 18, how much did you want? I think these go for still like five. So how close can I get? I mean, I'd probably, they're not bad. They just need a little bit of a cleaning. The suede's not that bad. Um, realistically, I'd price this shoe. Get on with it, man. I mean, realistically, I would price this shoe at 360. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, put it back in. These are pretty fair offers. Yeah, just... They're great. Yeah, I'm just, now that I'm thinking about it, I was like, hey, this would be a good clip because I do need to sell this and I didn't want to have to post it on the Instagram myself. But now that I'm seeing, I could probably just post it myself. You could get the same price. No, I'm gonna post it on the store page. Fire Red Forest. it my Zell. Use Fire Red Forest, don't do well for us. I think I think what we're gonna do, oh, they're gonna do well. I give good price. You didn't give me a good price yet. To the customer, not you. All right, well, the other two were a pair of uh, these Paisley Dunks, which is like the most slept on of the Paisleys, in my opinion. Just the all white, super crazy. So slept on them, 
that you never wore them. So slept on that no one else buys them, and I'm the only one that has them, and I didn't even wear them. That's how slept on they are. Right. Dusty Olives, I bought a pair, wore them, sold them to Steve so I could get a bigger size, wore these once, <laughs> never wore them again. So the thing with used shoes, guys, is like when people come in store, they usually don't have a market for them. They don't want to go through OfferUp, they don't want to go through Facebook Marketplace. They either want to trade their used shoes in, which a couple of stores in Arizona do do that, or they just want to get rid of them. Typically, the margins are very, very low on used shoes, which is why I don't typically offer well on used shoes, because I like to give our customers a really good steal price on used stuff. That being said, Bryson has the audience because obviously you guys all watch YouTube channel which means you guys all follow myself Bryson and Andrew on social media is able to get more and a lot of you guys appreciate wearing Bryson stuff because he doesn't beat it up he actually takes really good care of his shoes great hair yeah so that great being hair. said if he puts them up on our Instagram or his Instagram you guys can find the rest but I did take a couple pairs off him the three pairs um, that I did take so we got 370 on those but yeah, ultimately just on you shoes again you have to have a market for it it's very hard to find a good market for you shoes um, thankfully we have a very large audience because because of you guys, a bunch of you guys shop with us on you shoes on a day to day basis on our Instagram. Sorry. Hello, Plus, we were actually just talking about it. We move a lot. I talk to all these other store owners, and we go and we, we network with, with a bunch of these guys, and they all tell me like Air Force Ones, Black and White Dunks, you know Jordan One Mids, Jordan One Lows. Those are our best sellers. And although we do sell those, sell slides and foam runners, they always tell me they they can't sell the very expensive stuff. And what I mean by the expensive stuff, I'm talking like Travis Reverse Mochas, like Travis Fragments. We personally really sell that stuff well. And I think it's because a lot of you guys are collectors who watch this. Um, you could be a reseller watching this too, and you just you find a grail that you really like. For example, size 13. I like to just call these the Raider colorways and the Supreme Jewels. Um, and the uh, I like to call these the Cardinals colorways just because it's just easier for me. But uh, size 13 in, in both of these brand new. Just two shoes that are you know harder to come by in brand new condition, especially with the size two. So one of you guys seeing that, that's a collector. I mean, we offer pretty fair pricing on, on, on the more expensive shoes. Anytime we get in mummies, they usually sell within 10 minutes, usually. This one has actually been here for a few days. Um, stuff like Vapes You got the Captain Mar uh, America Marvel collab. And you also got the whole colorway, just some stuff you don't see any every day. The JJ Hound Vapes is off white fours in a size 11 and a half W, which is a 10 men. So strange loves in a size 10. So like I, I enjoy buying this stuff because we have a clientele for it that we can move it as long as it's, you know, a justifiable price. But uh, we move this stuff really well compared to other stores that I've talked to. It's like ups and downs almost because it's like as much as I would love to, you know, buy a, a white Air Force One and sell it in store for 150, 160, 175, some store sell it. And they move like five, 10 pairs a day. As much as I would love to do that, that's just simply not our clientele. So just kind of a little insight to kind of how we run our business here at home. All right guys, quick unboxing today. Before we get started, I just wanna let you guys know, we just gave this pair of Dodgers Dunks away to one of our text message subscribers. You guys know, Drew sends out a text message to all of our VIP club members. It's completely free. What you guys do is you guys just get marketing emails from us and uh, for being part of that club, we just give away a Dodgers Dunks. The winner is gonna be on the screen right here. Drew just randomly picked a winner. Next week, we're giving away a pair of the unreleased black canvas fours. So if you guys want an opportunity to be a part of that giveaway, again, just sign up for the text message club, link in bio for more details. That being said, let's see what we have just a couple right now we have a bunch of people employees working right now because we're getting everything prepped for scottsdale mall we're hoping to open it next week but we'll see scottsdale mall is uh obviously one of the better malls in the state so they require a lot of different things in order to get prepped for moving so we just got to follow those rules make sure we do everything they tell us to do and then hopefully we can get in there to fully open Yeezy 350 Onyxes, this time in a size 11. That's a great shoe for us. Again, 350s have been picking up a lot for us lately. Let's see what else we got. Looks like we got a note too. My second deal with Common Hype. Excited to continue future deals. Can't wait to visit your store and do deals in person. Shake my hand, the homie Byron. And then Byron also sent us two pairs of Jordan 4. Not militaries this time, but we've got red Thunder 4s. So Byron, appreciate the package and the nice note. Then we've got one other box. It's gonna be down here. This one is from my guy Dylan in New York. All right, looks like we've got another pair of Red Thunder Fours in here. Then we've got a few pairs of slides. They just restocked as of recently, so went down a little bit in price, but uh, always good to have slides in stock. That's gonna conclude today's unboxing. I know it's a short one today, but uh, let's get into the rest of the video. All right, guys, we're back here at Scottsdale Mall. There's been a bit of progress. There's updates on some of the things we've done. Starting with the ceiling, painted the entire ceiling black. We're gonna replace these bulbs up here with bright light LEDs. 
So that's really gonna make the store pop. We're building these basically white, white on white shelves. The reason for doing that is because we have a separator in between. Well, it's gonna be mirrors, so you're gonna see mirrors on each side. So one, two, three, and four mirrors in total. So that's gonna separate the shoes. We're gonna have a lot of space for shoes. We now know how high shoes can go just because we've done this a few times and anything higher than this, customers really can't see. So anything that gets thrown on those top shelves, we wouldn't sell them. This is the perfect height for actually reaching up and finding. Um, the shoes that people want. With a bunch of permits and stuff, this is not the ideal shelving that we wanted to do, but uh, in order to get open for the holiday season, this is what we have to deal with. So come January, February next year, if we still want to change it up, we can absolutely do that. Which again, we have to pull permits from the city, which takes several months. This is our block um, for our TV. So we're gonna have a TV in here on each side, playing you know custom common hype ads and stuff like that. We'll put some accessories and stuff on this bottom shelf, but that's gonna be the majority of what's going up here. Maybe up top, we'll throw some you know display cases is for the more high-end shoes. In between right here, you guys are gonna see some benches that we ordered. So we ordered benches for each side. So again, two, four benches in total. Also going along the middle, you're gonna see clothing racks. So we're gonna have one, two, three, four clothing racks as well. In the middle, we have two custom display cases getting made. You guys know we just like making expensive custom display cases. So we're gonna have two of those. If you guys watch the sneaker shopping in Los Angeles video, we went to Untied LA and they had this nice, nice, basically elevated tabletop display case with plexiglass. That's essentially what we're doing as well. And this rectangle glass display case right here. We're gonna have that in the middle. This back wall over here, again, mirror, more shoes, back wall could be all clothing racks. Our own clothing, for gallery department, vape, anti-social, hey. whatever we have, it's gonna be on this back wall. We're also thinking about painting hey. this back wall black. And then coming back here, storage was a big issue for us, but uh, we told our contractor, hey, build us some shelving back here, and this is exactly what we envisioned. Told us, based on Concord 11 box, which is fake, you guys can see. Based on this box alone, we can fit about, he says, <laughs> a thousand pairs. I don't know how accurate that is, but my guy usually just he better than what we started us. with. Man. Yeah, it's a lot better than what we started with. So these yeah. are gonna hold tons and tons of shoes, which is huge for us. And ultimately, that's pretty much it. It's gonna be pretty straightforward. You're gonna walk in here, you're gonna shop for shoes. If you guys notice, we did not mention like a register. We're gonna do walking POS basically. I don't know, a lot of you guys have been to Apple or Louis Vuitton or stores like that. They have all the iPads. So you have a personalized shopper basically giving you an experience, and then you'll be able to check out right on the iPad. You guys have to pay cash because you have a register still, but mostly go card and mobile as much as possible. So which means if I'm a customer and I'm like, hey, Drew, I'd like you know the black and white dunks, and I. I want the off-white dunks. Yeah, great, you know. Boom. Pull up the iPad, I can pull it up right there. You, I have my card reader, right. show me your ID and your card, it matches, we do the here's transaction. Your total. Here's the transaction, would you like a text or email receipt? Get it right there, he goes to the back, he pulls it, grabs it, back three, comes out with it, you're all set to go. We're gone, that's it. No POS, no stand, just with this store is a little smaller, so the design and the flow, we wanna be just a little more right. open and free and quick. Yeah. Give you guys the best personalized experience yeah. you can. The only place we could put it is like back here maybe. But it's just like weird. But it's just, yeah, in the shelves right here. You have like an opening here for employees to walk back and forth, but it's just, it just, it's not, it doesn't really fit the vibe of what we're trying to do. So we're gonna try it. If it ends up working, great. If it doesn't end up working and we have to put a, you know, register stand back there, then that's what we have to do. A lot of the stuff is trial and error, because again, we've never been in a mall front before. So Drew's gonna be, hold up, wait a minute. Running the shop. Drew's gonna be running this store until we can find another GM to kind of hand the reins off to. This is a huge milestone for us because this is our first time opening a mall front. And obviously we want the people we trust the most running this operation. So Drew's gonna run it. He's gonna you know build somebody up to be the next assistant general manager and then the future general manager of the store. And then he'll be back with us at HQ. So if you guys don't see a lot of Drew on the channel in the upcoming weeks, that's because he's gonna be here. So if you wanna see him, come to Scottsdale Mall. You'll see him here pretty much yeah. every day and day. Come visit him, come say hi, we can go networking. <laughs> yeah, you can, go you can spend a lot of money here. Are you excited, Drew? I'm very excited. I'm gonna miss the boys though, obviously, but I'll be here most of the time. You're still gonna be with us in the mornings. Yeah, yeah, I'll still see them every day. We still sleep together and, you know, eat. Shower together, so it is, <laughs> Damn it, right. it is what it is. Yeah, Drew's all of his all of his clientele is out here, all of the big restaurants and stuff. So if you guys are coming out of town, stay in Scottsdale, come see Drew at the store, come by the shop, come come get some shoes, come get some apparel, and then uh, Drew will tell you the, the hot spots to go because Scottsdale's a fun place. This is exciting for us. This is, this, this is a big again, big milestone for us. Um, unfortunately, Bryce and I are not going to be at the grand opening this weekend because we're going to be in Boston, but uh, it's we'll be here at the remaining holiday season. So it's not <laughs> the like show goes on, boys and girls. We can't be everywhere every 
time. Yeah, yeah. like there's that, three of us. Yeah. So God's Soul's a big event for us that we have to be at. We gotta go get some inventory and everything. We gotta so, open the store. Yeah. So expect some bigger videos next week. Yeah, yeah. hopefully well, next month. Yeah, hopefully yeah. some more longer cash out videos. You guys have been asking for that. Secret Con Phoenix, there wasn't really a lot going on, so we couldn't film a lot. Um, there wasn't a lot of vendors and there was, there was just, there's a lot of loud music and just crazy stuff going on too. Bossado? Bossado? And Brandon's gotta buy enough inventory to keep me happy over here. Cause if we're not, if we're not, if I don't have black and white thunk, so I don't know what we're gonna do. Yeah, if we, if we project the amount of sales that we're gonna do out of this spot, we have to have the amount of inventory ready for it. It's a good problem. It's a great problem to have. Yeah, Brandon's gonna be so mad. Yeah, so I'm just gonna be yelling at him all day. Which means we gotta spend more money on inventory. And comment down below what you guys think of this. Again, grand opening this weekend, October, what is it? 7th? 8th? 8th? <laughs> Confirm. No one knows. October 8th. Yeah, October 8th. If we get open earlier, we may just do like a soft opening just because we have to teach our sales associates the process. Working here because it's going to be a lot different than HQ. So, that works out about it.